So what can we do with a sensor like this? Let's first talk about depth estimation. Using this sensor and this kind of a coded aperture, they were able to compute depth from single image just using this coded aperture. This is the output they would get, not perfect, but this is what you get out of a single image. And then they actually came up with an algorithm that would regularize the depth to be able to generate an image like this. I encourage you to look at the concept of regularization, but among other things, it basically is one of the best ways of smoothing out the information. And that basically is the way that this kind of details were kind of gotten rid of and allow you to kind of generate a much better mask for depth. So of course, if you look at it after doing regularization, uh, you can actually get a much better sense of depth. In this paper, uh, they also kind of suggest that sometimes by simple uh, manual intervention, you can also improve results. Another example of this kind of stuff, again, uh, where you have regularized depth here, uh, some of the stuff is lost, but again, from a simple camera, you can actually do quite well with these types of things. And here, by just adding a little bit of corrections manually, uh, you can actually now get the shapes that you wanted or the depth that you wanted. And these are the gestures that were actually required to help you do this. Let's look at a few ex other examples. Well, this is an example of focus corrections. So of course, this is an input uh, and you can see a lot of focusing, you know, defocusing artifacts here. Uh, of course, all, it's not completely all defocused here. But with this method, now we know the things we can actually use this to deconvolve the thing. And now the whole image is completely in focus. Another example, just look at this is, this was the original image. And if you just zoom in, in this output image. And again, the coded image captured all of the details, allowing you to, after the fact, in a post-editing mode, be able to now actually visualize a focused image. Another close up is this example here when given an input image of uh, two people, one you can see is badly focused. And of course, now the whole image has been focused correctly. Again, the camera captured all the information and you can do this after the fact. And the example again is the original image had a lot of focus blur and you can see a much sharper image as the output. Of course, we could do some sort of you know naive sharpening and stuff like that and get simple examples like this on this image. And again, there are methods out there. But again, the point basically being this was done on the camera itself with a coded aperture.